many entrepreneurs have great ideas but are constantly faced with concerns of procuring the hardware, setting up their data center, or building applications using latest generation of technology solutions. They also want to constantly update their software, have faster time to market so that they can fail and learn quickly. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, or OCI, can help solve these problems. OCI is an enterprise-grade Generation 2 cloud service provider. And unlike the other cloud service providers, its SLA not only guarantees availability, but also performance and network bandwidth. With OCI, all of our resources are software-defined. And while we could provision with the user interface or an ad hoc collection of scripts, that could lead to a lot of technical debt. And we would lack the flexibility that we're looking for in the cloud. By adopting DevOps practices and tools, customer can automate their provisioning, configuration, deployment, and monitoring of the applications, as well as the infrastructure. This allows them to have better testing and quality control, more efficient and predictable deployments, and reduced recovery times. In our example, the application resides within the containers, but we don't have to manage the tool sets around them. Oracle Kubernetes Engine is an enterprise-ready, managed Kubernetes service for running highly available clusters so that the developers can focus more on building the applications rather than managing them. In this video, we will demonstrate a continuous integration and continuous deployment pipeline around Oracle's Kubernetes engine. So today, we will provision our environment using infrastructure as code, deploy our application using automation, and monitor our application and resources for feedback. We'll be using some open source tools to complete these tasks, including Terraform, Docker, and Grafana. We've automated and orchestrated these tasks using Jenkins, an open source automation tool. All right, let's take a walk through our cluster and the application. Here is our cluster, and currently, we have two nodes running on the cluster. We have provisioned this cluster with Terraform, which is an infrastructure as code tool. Next, here is our Jenkins pipeline that I've used to provision the infrastructure, and it watches for any changes on the code repository. Any changes that are pushed to the repository will be propagated automatically to reflect the required cluster configuration. Next, here is another Jenkins pipeline, which is used for deploying our application. Here, we have automated tasks like building the application, testing, building a container image, updating a container image registry, and finally updating our deployment to the cluster. Just like with our infrastructure pipeline, once we push changes to our code repository, this pipeline is kicked off. With the application deployed, we would also like to monitor the application and the containers. Today, we'll be using Prometheus and Grafana. Prometheus gathers the information and stores it as a time series data, while Grafana shows it on a visual dashboard. Now that we've taken a quick overview of environment, let's iterate through the whole stack, scaling our infrastructure, updating our application, and monitoring for feedback. If you notice on a Grafana dashboard, our CPU commitment is rather high. Let's uh, fix that by scaling our cluster. Here is my Terraform code for my infrastructure. I've created a module for the cluster, and a module is simply a reusable piece of infrastructure code. All I need to do is change the number of nodes that I've defined here and input that into my module. From here, I simply need to save and push my code to the repository. And now we can see that Jenkins has picked up that change. We'll approve those changes. And now that, that pipeline's finished, if we go over and check our OCI dashboard, we can see that we've increased the number of nodes per subnet. While those nodes spin up, let me make a few small tweaks to our application. You can see the current state of our application here. Let's add a little bit more excitement to the title up here. In much the same way that I had my infrastructure as code, I'll change my code right here in my terminal. I'll save and commit those changes. And I'll push it to my GitHub repo. And if we take a look at our application pipeline, it'll pick up those changes and start to build our application and deploy it again to the cluster. And once it's been deployed to our cluster, we'll go and we'll check our application. And we notice our changes have started to propagate through our cluster. 
let's review a high level architecture of what we just did. We have provisioned resources on the cloud with infrastructure as code, automated the deployment of our application, and received feedback with monitoring, allowing us to move faster on the cloud. We've covered a DevOps workflow using Oracle's Kubernetes engine with cloud native tools, giving us the flexibility we need using a combination of managed services and open source tools. This process allows for faster, more reliable development cycles, allowing you to move quickly without breaking things, ultimately reducing risk while increasing the pace of innovation. Mm -hmm.